hi guys and welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is Kamala and I started a YouTube channel to document my health journey while I was pregnant I was diagnosed with fibroids one became extremely large and almost um, threatened my life but thankfully I had a flawless delivery and now the fibroid is shrinking so follow me to learn how I'm doing that So we have a special guest. He saw me videoing and started acting up because I can't be videoing without him. He has to be a part of it. But anyway, today I want to talk about um, my conception story. Um, I noticed a lot of people saying that they have fibroids and they're afraid to get pregnant or they're having difficulty getting pregnant. Um, of course, I want to start by saying that if you do have fibroids, um, I don't recommend in getting pregnant without talking to your doctor but the truth is they say one in two women have fibroids um, a lot of people have fibroids have multiple children and have no clue that they have fibroids they're actually very common so I don't think that should be a deterrent from having children um, but just like when you're planting a garden, I would recommend that you prepare your body for pregnancy so you can shrink them as much as possible or at the very least prevent them from growing. And I would do that for at least a year before getting pregnant. Six months to a year is the recommendation. Some people just do it for three months and they're fine. Um, and then also maintain that healthy diet throughout pregnancy because that's also good for the baby. Um, in my case... I was not trying to get pregnant as a matter of fact I was actively trying not to get pregnant um, but I'll tell you a little bit about how I got pregnant um, but I can't go into too much detail because I don't want to infringe on anybody's privacy but basically we had a financial plan that we were not gonna have children until we took care of certain things financially and we were actively well I was actively trying not to get pregnant but he had fallen ill so we were not getting it on for a while for about two weeks two or three weeks um, when he got better we kind of just jumped right to it um, without really thinking because usually I would track to make sure that I'm not ovulating um, but at that time there was just a lot going on and then we hadn't you know been intimate for a while so we ended up being intimate and it was not until probably a week later um, when I started to feel I didn't really have pregnancy symptoms I just started to feel different I don't know how else to explain it it occurred to me that we might have done it during my fertile window but I kind of just shrugged it off but then as the symptoms increased, I could not ignore it. So, you know, I had to get a pregnancy test um, and I found out that I was pregnant. Now, with my fibroids, I have um, multiple and one became extremely large. Um, when the doctors were doing my medical profile and, you know, they asked you questions like, how long have you had these symptoms and so on? I realized I've had certain symptoms of it for a long time. For example, I'm extremely anemic. So I might have had this fiber and it might have been very large for a very long time and I did not realize. Um, I actually went to the doctor several times for my anemia and the doctor basically said some women are naturally anemic. That's not necessarily the case. A lot of women are anemic because a lot of women have fibroids. That's what that is. So... I might have had it for a really, really long time. So I'm actually surprised that I got pregnant, you know, with six fibroids and one large one. Um, but after doing a lot of research, it actually happens all the time. As I said, I would not recommend it, but I also wanted to just tell my story. And as I said before, I was not trying. It just happened. If I knew of my condition, I would have probably been even more careful. Um, but if you are, you know, if you want to have a baby, if you're trying to get pregnant and people are saying you have fibroids, that it's not possible. I just wanted to tell my story because that's not true. The one time we were not careful, I became pregnant with this large fibroid. So you definitely can't get pregnant 
and I want to tell my story one to encourage those who are actively trying to have a baby um, work with your doctor but definitely it is still possible and also you need to try and prepare your body as much as possible um, first since you know that you have fibroids prepare your body as much as possible shrink them as much as possible and I would say just go for it and then manage it while you're pregnant and for those and especially if you know that you especially if you know that you have fibroids it's very important to be as healthy as possible before during and after pregnancy in my case i had no clue so i was you know in when i became pregnant i was like oh i'm pregnant you know i can eat whatever i want to eat and you know this is the time to get fat i was in for a rude awakening i should have been eating a lot more healthy um but as i said i did not know but if you know instead of looking at it as a negative that yes i have fibroids i can't get pregnant number one that's not true women do it all the time women they say one in two women have fibroids and women are having babies left right and center so women have babies all the time with fibroids i learned while i was in the hospital that my mom had fibroids and she had five babies so it's not true that you can't have babies once um you have fibroids but it's also very important to prepare your body as much as possible to be healthy during your pregnancy and after your pregnancy and also to work with your doctor because sometimes where the fibroid is it can make the womb uninhabitable for the baby sorry i had to tend to this little one but yes it's important to work with your doctor because where the fibroid is is also important but don't lose hope don't be discouraged do as much research as possible work with your doctor eat healthy if you have conceived with fibroids comment below and let me know and also if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and as usual remember to live by design